Hi, I'm Andrea Stenberg, the Baby Boomer Entrepreneur, and in today's video I wanted to show you a nifty little LinkedIn trick, which is how to download your LinkedIn connections. So first of all, before I dive in and show you how to do it, I want to show you or talk to you about why you might want to do this. So first reason is you don't own LinkedIn. Um, Microsoft now <laughs> owns LinkedIn. And so you don't have 100% control over your connections. There have been cases of people who have had their accounts frozen or have been kicked out of LinkedIn, usually because of nefarious behavior. So even, you know, even if you're not planning on doing anything inappropriate, it's still a good idea to keep your connections in a format that you control. So download them, put them on your computer. Uh, another reason you might want to do it is so that you can import your contacts. Maybe there's some that you contact regularly into Outlook or Gmail or whatever email client you use, uh, just so that then you can access them uh, even when you're not in LinkedIn or you can send them uh, emails or you'll have their phone numbers uh, without having to log into LinkedIn. The third reason you might want to download your contacts is kind of how I use them is you can download them as a spreadsheet and then use that to keep track of your outreach to your LinkedIn connections. So for example, if I'm going through uh, a period where I'm trying to reach out to my LinkedIn connections and I wanna keep track of where I was, I can look at my spreadsheet, I can make notes of who I've contacted, what were the results, uh, and I can visually see where I am in the process because I have a lot of connections. So. Now that we've talked about why, let's look at how. So here is my LinkedIn homepage, and you can tell because I'm in the upper left here, there's a little highlight under home. So I'm on the home tab. So first thing you want to do is go click on my network, which is the first icon to the right of the search bar in that gray bar up across the top. So let's click on that. Okay, so now we've got up my connections. And you see on the left hand side here, it says I've got 1,423 connections. I can click on see all or click on the number itself. Doesn't matter, both are clickable and both will take you to the correct spot. And so here we are is my 1,423 connections as of this recording. And over on the right here, you see managed, managed synced and imported contacts which is not intuitive I know for downloading, but anyway, let's click on it and I will show you what you see. So we've got synced, imported, and over on the right hand side, see your connections, advanced actions, and here is the golden, golden uh, nugget, export contacts. So you can click on that, it opens up actually a new tab, and so it gives you this option. You can uh, do fast file only, includes connections, contacts, recommendations, messages, profile information, blah, 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 and fast file plus other data. So depending on what you want, you just pick the one you want and click request archive and eventually you will get an email with all your contacts and in fact I got an email with a uh, zipped file that had a bunch of different Excel files with um, with various uh, formats for of my contacts and bits of information and I really only use one of the spreadsheets so usually if you're doing the fast file it's not going to take very long at all if you're using the uh, the fast file plus other data, 24 hours. So it depends how quickly you need the information. So here is how to download your connections. So if you haven't done that or you haven't done it in a while, I highly recommend go over to LinkedIn, download your connections. It's always a good idea to have backup of all your social media information in places that let you do it, just so that you have control over what's there. So. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, do please leave a comment uh, in the comments section and I will try to reply
apply to you in a timely fashion. So until next time, this is Andrea Stenberg, the Baby Boomer Entrepreneur. Bye.